Three, two, one. Hi, and welcome to another My Kids Locker Empathy Tale. This is Victoria Wolders, and today we are going to be doing a story that I hope will create compassion one story at a time. This story was based off something that I saw recently at the rec center. There was a gentleman who seemed quite sad. He seemed lonely, and there was an employee that helped him And I could tell how this employee helped him, made him happier, and made him in a better mood. And I thought that that was really beautiful. It was as if he had put a bracelet, or she had, she, the employee, had put a bracelet around his wrist of happiness. And it just made him happier. And I just thought, I think this would be really neat to take that idea of someone helping another person and how that changes their outlook um, to be better. And I just think it would be great to create a story that is based off of helping someone. So today we are going to be reading The Broken Bracelet. Okay, so if you are comfortable, um, I will be in. So once upon a time, a long time ago, in the Oaken Eagle Kingdom, in the land of the Eastern Eagle, there was the bright blue princess and her village. She lived in a very humble village. This humble village was known for its beautiful peacocks. Now there was also some problems that were going on in the village. The trolls started to come back into the village and they were starting to take away the peacocks. The peacocks are prized birds. The bright blue princess had found a beautiful peacock a uh, feather many moons ago where she could look through the eye of the peacock feather and see the goodness in everyone and all their strengths. She chose to take peacocks and put them in her village so that everyone around her could be able to see goodness and strengths through each other and through the peacock eyes. She had decided to raise the peacocks in her village because it was so important What happened was the trolls started disguising themselves as villagers. They pretended to go on the bright blue princess's village, go into the bright blue princess's village, and take the peacocks. The bright blue princess went to the elders and started to talk to the elders about how they were going to monitor the trolls coming into the village because they knew that they were coming in. The trolls were taking the peacocks and they were using the peacocks down in the water troll kingdom for their own benefit because the trolls were lonely. They would hold the magical peacock feather up towards the walls of the caves and the gems would shine brightly. They thought that taking things was okay as long as it was justified by getting more jewels. The elders and the bright blue princess came up with an idea that was at the gate of their village. They would decide to put bracelets on the people that were coming in and out. If they came into the village, then everyone knew the villages because they would get a beautiful bracelet with a peacock feather in the bracelet. So they picked specific guards at the gate, and these people would hold up a peacock feather that was found in their bracelet, and they would look through the eye, If it was someone from the village, they would see their strength and their gifting. If it was a troll dressed up like a human, a fairy, or a giant, then it would look very foggy. It looked like they were cloudy because the trolls still had difficulty understanding their strengths. They also had challenges with understanding people's emotions. The only troll that was unique to have was the teddy bear troll. Because he always came into their village and just wanted to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. (laughs) In the village, there was a girl named Abigail, and she was lucky enough to be picked as a guard. She would always take the day shift. She would stand at the eastern gate when the sun was rising. When she stood on the eastern gate, she would always see villagers coming over the hill, and she would always check them. She was such an encouraging person because she could always see the strengths of the villagers. Of course, some villagers left. They would have to hand in their bracelet. Their bracelets each had a peacock feather that was used by Abigail. 
and it would slip out of the bracelet. On the back of the bracelet, she would write their strengths. If their strength was poetry, or if their strength was baking, or if their strength was a sense of humor, or their strength was metalwork, she would take the peacock feather, slip it into the beautiful bracelet, and then write their strength on the back. She would know everyone's strength. Now, there was a young man who lived in the village, and he often would do a lot of traveling. He would sometimes be away for months and months on end. He was also very lonely. He was a very sad person, even though he lived in the bright blue princess's village with the elders. He just didn't really like himself. He struggled with the way he talked. He would often stutter, and he would say things through his mouth and just couldn't get the words out. This young man's name was Simon. He would leave, and he would come back. Abigail got assigned to the eastern gate of the castle, and the day that she was assigned, she started her job, and Simon left to be away on business. He came back several weeks later after she had started the position. He walked up to her. He noticed she was beautiful. She had long blonde hair and blue eyes. She was strong. She was happy. She had a beautiful smile. You could tell she was very empathetic and compassionate. You could tell she loved her job because she knew all the strengths of her villagers. Also, she knew what amazing talents and gifts they had. He walked up to her nervously, and he knew that she was such a beautiful person on the outside and the inside. She said, Oh, who are you? He replied, Simon. She looked at him and said, it was, It's nice to meet you, Simon. We have had a lot of trolls come in pretending to be humans. They have stolen our peacocks, so we must test everyone through a peacock feather to see their strengths. She gently held up a peacock feather, looked through the eye. Just at that moment, the sun was rising, and the sun was gleaming on both of their faces. She said, the sunsets, sunrises are beautiful. He looked at her and said, yes, they are b b b b b b beautiful as he tried to stutter through his words. And she said, Oh, I can see your strength. Your strength is magnificent. He looked at her and stuttered. I don't want to know my strength. I don't want to know my strength. She said, Are you sure you're the only one who doesn't want to know their strength? He said, No, I do not want to know. He reached out his arm. That very moment, she put the peacock feather and a beautiful crystal bracelet on him. She said, because you don't want to know, I will not put your strength on the back, but I will know your strength and I will keep it a secret. She gently held his hand and put on the bracelet that very moment. He looked at her in such a gentle way because he had never had anyone really held his hand before. It felt so good to have someone so beautiful on the outside and inside show so much compassion and love. In that very moment, he felt so connected to the village and his people. She gently took off the bracelet, and then she said, I have not written a strength on the back of this bracelet. As you can see, I have slipped a peacock feather or peacock eye into it. When you leave the village, it will be placed in a basket, and then when you return, I will put it back on you. So the only time you are wearing this bracelet will be inside our village. Everyone will know that you are not a troll. And everyone will know that you need to return it when you leave on your trips. He said, thank you for not telling me my strength. She looked at him with her bright blue eyes and said, I hope one day you will hear your strength because it's a magnificent one. By that time, it was, it was starting to get midday. And he went into the village and found his home. He was very tired and he laid down. Several days later, he was told that he had to go on another trip. He packed his bags and he left quickly. He quickly passed her at the gate going out and threw his bracelet in the bin. Yet, when he was coming back, he knew he would have to have the bracelet back on and the peacock feather on in his bracelet. At that time of his return, 
she was there. And once again, she took his arm and he, she said, I'm going to put the bracelet back on you. This bracelet matches you. He said, thank you so much. And here, here I will stay in the village for the next little while before I have to go on my next trip. She turned to him and said, one more thing. Do you want to know your strength? And he said, no, I do not want to know. And he left. Now, while he was gone, Abigail started sifting through all the bracelets that had been handed in when they exited the village. And she started to pick up all the ones that she thought were amazing. She noticed all the beautiful strengths and she had been, she was amazed, but she held up hit, he, she held up um, a green one, which said, which said love and another one that said patience. She thought about her friend, Simon, and how he should really know his strength, but he chose not to. Just then there was a man that came up to her and said, hello, how can I help you? She said that to him, sorry. He said, I want to go in the castle. I want to go in the bright blue princess, princess's village. She said, well, let me look for your peacock feather and your bracelet. Do you have a bracelet in here? As she dug through the basket with all the bracelets. He said, no, I do not have a bracelet. When she held up an extra peacock feather, she decided to look at him. It was foggy. She said to him, you are a troll. Unfortunately, you are not welcome here. Many trolls have stolen our peacocks, and you will not be able to enter. He said, fine, that's okay. I will just find another way to get in. She was surprised that he said that, but she knew she, he was angry. She said, you are not allowed, and please do not come back. Go enjoy your water troll kingdom, and hopefully over time, our village and the water troll kingdom will reconcile and will find peace and all of us can live in harmony. The troll said, fine. He was very angry and started to leave. While he was leaving, he noticed the basket with all the different bracelets. And he thought to himself, maybe I'll come back and I will try to steal one. Later that week, Simon had to go on a trip. And once again, he dropped, his bas he dropped his bracelet in the basket. He left, and he was gone for several weeks. During the weeks he was away, the troll came back. He thought to himself, maybe at night, if I sneak up, I can pick one of the bracelets up. Maybe there might be one that doesn't have a strength at the back. That night when Abigail was fast asleep, and there was a different guard at the top of the gate, he came up. And he said, I want to come in. The guard said, well, let me just use the peacock feathers. Oh, by the way, I'll tell you right now, I, 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 I have a bracelet. And he looked down. He said, it's a bracelet that doesn't, doesn't have any strength, strengths on it, said the troll. And the guard looked down and noticed that there was a bracelet that didn't have a strength on it. That was Simon's. The guard kind of became befuffled and he realized that maybe he was untrained and he should just give him the bracelet with no strength on the back the guard said fine here's your bracelet and go have a good day the troll knew he was lying and he knew he could feel fool the guards the troll took simon's bracelet and wore it as he went into the village, he became very angry because it was late at night. He started to steal po poch sorry, pottery, vegetables, fruit, and other materials from people. He stuffed them into his bags, as many as he could, and he noticed a young child who had woken up and was looking out the window. The troll did not see the young child. Just then, the troll took his bracelet and dropped it on the cobblestone street, the bracelet was broken. It was shattered. The peacock feather was broken as well. The troll left the area quickly with his stolen goods, leaving the feather on the ground. 
The peacock feather was left on the ground. The young child managed to get out of his house through a window and picked up the peacock feather, but the peacock feather, and put the peacock feather under his pillow until the next day. The troll had left the bright blue princess's village. The troll went back to the water troll kingdom with his prized possessions that were stolen. In the morning, Simon came to the gate from his return from his long travels, and Abigail was so happy to see him. She said, Simon, it's so good to see you. Of course, both of them hadn't known that the troll had come in and had broken the bracelet. The peacock feather was now in the possession of the young child. Abigail said, let me go look for your bracelet in the basket. She went through the basket and said, I cannot find it. I guess one of the guards must have broken the bracelet or thrown it out. Sometimes that happens when too many glass bracelets bang against each other or some of them don't have strengths. He said, what, 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 what? What should I do? She said, well, I guess I'll just try to put it back on you with an old bracelet. She put it, she put an old bracelet on him and found a random uh, peacock feather laying around. She looked at his, looked through the eye of the peacock feather and once again, it was beautiful. But just before she was just about to give him a brand new bracelet, The young child who had found the peacock feather ran up to them. The young child, I have a peacock feather. It was by a troll, and a troll had stolen things from us last night. Here it is. She took the peacock feather and held it up to Simon. It was broken, frayed, and now stepped on. Once again, she saw his strength and said, wow, this is beautiful. She said, let's try to give you a new glass bracelet to put in your broken feather. She found a... She found one in the basket and managed to fit one in perfectly to fit his broken feather. Just as she she held his hand and the broken bracelet, the peacock feather started glowing. As it started glowing, it touched the bracelet and started to heal the bracelet. She said, it's healing, it's healing. The bracelet is healing. The peacock feather molded back into a brand new peacock feather. And the brokenness of the peacock feather was no longer existent. She said, The bracelet ended up being gleaming crystals and sparkling. The peacock feather looked amazing, like a translucent angel, as if it had been dipped in gold. He looked at the peacock feather and smiled. The child looked up at him and said, I think you have the power of healing. Abigail looked at Simon and said, Yes, Simon, you do have the power of healing. Just then, he said, I have the power of he- 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 healing. I can't even sp- 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 speak very well. She said, you have the power of healing. You need to use your healing gift. As soon as you walk into this castle, people are hurt and broken because there has been a troll that has stolen from us. He said, will you help help, help me, Abigail? And she said, yes, I will. So she held his hand, put on the bracelet as it was glowing. She said, we will do this together. As they walked through the gate, she made sure that nobody, that somebody else was protecting that entrance. He began to pick up the pottery and the things that were broken. The people who were sitting on the sidewalk crying because of the brokenness and the things that were taken away from them, he comforted. Many of their possessions were taken, and he came over, this, over to them and said, I feel your pain. I know what it means to speak in a broken way, but in your brokenness, you can be healed. He touched their shoulders, and they knew that they felt cared for. There was healing. From that day forward, the bright blue princess recognized Simon as someone that would help with healing. It was only through brokenness that he saw the need to be brave and courageous. His strength helped the village. He was strong, and the community healed from the hurt. The end. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for another Empathy Tale. Um, I think this is episode 41, and this is your host, Victoria Wolders. Uh, If you want to reach out to me at mykidslocker.com, I would love to hear from you, love to hear uh, insights, suggestions. Please reach out to me through my social media outlets, uh, Twitter, Facebook, um, Tumblr, YouTube. (laughs) Uh, Instagram. Uh, It'd be great to connect with you. Thank you so much for listening. 
Until next time, I hope you create compassion one story at a time. Thank you for joining us today. Three, two, one.